Hello. Today I'm going to disassemble this assemble this zero breeze Elec Hive 2200 watt power station. There's a problem with the inverter. The AC output is going on, off, on, off. Not sure what's the problem. And the fans are making lots of noise. It just sounds like angle grinder. So let's see. In order to open it, uh, you have to remove this for plastic. Uh, no, it's not plastic. Sorry, it's rubber. Rubber cover from the top. There's four long bolts. So let me show you. I will use this one, but it's not the correct one. It it should be. Should be another one, but I don't have that tool, so I will use this one. See, this is super long <laughs> bolt. It looks like engine bolt, car bolt. This is shit. Super long. There's four of these mega bolts. See? Are you shitting me? After removing the bolts, you can lift this top off like this. There's one, two, three, and four connector. This XT60 or XT30 connectors style, and two small uh, connectors. There's a switch there, you can turn it on and off and how to sleep. And the other two are for import, input. And here's the charge, uh, charging level, you can set it uh, to 90 or 100. I mean, uh, if you set it on 90, you can charge it and you can connect it to the wall, but it's not going to charge over 100, over uh, 90, it will stop, charging limit, cold, this is a hard plastic, and there is a, four screw, one there, there, there and there and uh, in order to open this I need to disconnect the battery this goes to the battery so I don't have the power I mean this don't have the power so it could shirt or shock me There's some heavy duty connector. And there are some more. And then there's some more. And this is for temp. Now I will unscrew this for. 
the smallest goes here. One. Draw. Three. Yeah, when you have uh, when you unscrew the screws, you can lift this up, but uh, you have to be very be careful because there is uh, still connected. This connection here is, comes from down there and up to this side, and there's a fan. It's uh, everything is marked fan connection here, so you need to disconnect it. And the whole uh, front panel comes up. And there's a connection to connect it to the to the AC output here. I can lift this up. See, this is the whole inverter. I think it's the inverter. So there's a lot of transistors on this side and the other side. One, two, three. Fans here and two fans over here, and that one is connected to the this red is connected to the output AC. Let me set this aside. It looks like this on down there. And this is the inverter board. See this thing is loose. Not sure why that's there. This is the battery because it's so heavy. Let's lift it up. There's the battery. V power DX005. It says uh, 2,442 2, watt. Watts per hour, and it's uh, don't say anything about. It says six S one P. I think it's six uh, um, in series and one in parallel. So it's six cell connected together. All the BMS is uh, down there. So this is only the the inverter board. This is the inverter board. This is the AC inverter board. This part here. I found out the uh, one of the one of the. Um, AC output pins uh, like this was uh, broken uh, as you saw inside the other like this the gold connector were broken so hopefully that will fix the problem not sure but we will, I will check it see this is marking AC out the connector on the other side was broken the whole uh, pins was out loose so let's see if I can fix that, hard plastic, nothing else. And this is the battery. Not sure what this is for. If that's the inverter, I think this is the this is the um, uh, low voltage step up inverter board. So that's the high voltage maybe see this is shitty work it looks like someone did in the some uh, some see 
they didn't even clean the, the shit. It looks oh, disgusting. I never seen something like this. Sorry for uh, the flickering of the light. Have you ever seen something like this so stupid? See? Looks like childish work. Mm, there. Dirty little shit. See these resistors? It looks like they soldered afterward. Yeah. Don't like the work. To be honest, it's cheaply made. Disgusting. This fans making a noise like ankle grinder, you know? If they really care about the efficiency of the fans, they should put the plastic or on the top of this so the fans could blow air right in this like tunnels, you know tunnels. Yeah. And they uh, have soldered the output directly there. Some cheap uh, sockets. These sockets are not worth a penny. They are just like not a quality port. You would, you would use in a power station like this, and you are going to pay around one thousand five hundred dollar for something shitty like this. It's not worth it. So you know, keep away from this shit. And go for echo floor bluety. Bluety. Maybe Jackery. Gold, gold zero is not a good product too. So this is some shitty work. Let's check what's that inside of this battery. Yep. This is everything. This is the battery. Oh my god, this is heavy. It's like a 10 kilo, 10 15 kilo, like that. I'm not sure. And there's nothing to hold this on. See, this plastic is already broken. As you can see, I didn't even try to see this is the quality. Alright, from Shanghai. See? Missing a piece of plastic that should be there. Like this. And the other one. All most of them were broken. See? There is the broken part. This is not a good quality one. The battery is and the BMS everything is inside here. You can pause the video and check the info of the battery. That is what it is. This is just a BMS. Not sure, there is a BMS in top of the battery. I can see that I'm not going to disassemble more than this, but maybe I should have control this shit. This is not working like it should be. Yeah, this is it. I'm going to try to use a zip tie as this so I can organize these cables a little bit better than the factory. Hopefully that pin will fix the problem with the output. So I will update you. Hope you like this uh, video. If you have any questions, please comment on this video. I will try to. I will try my best 
to reply and to answer have a nice evening or day or night thanks for watching this video and please subscribe if you haven't done it bye